Hi everyone! First of all, I would like to thank you to Alistair for the invitation to join this amazing group of experts and to talk a little about eating disorders in Brazil. This is an important field around the world and the studies about prevention strategies are still very incipient in Brazil. My name is Ana Carolina Amaral and I am a professor in the Federal Institute of Education, Science and Technology of the Southeast of Minas Gerais in Brazil. I have dedicated many years of my academic and professional life to the study and investigation about risk factors for the onset of eating disorders, especially body image. So, uh, before I explore our paper about eating disorders prevention, I believe it is important to give our audience a brief framework on the Brazilian context. So, let's go! The first thing that I would like to underline is that Brazilian population is the result of a miscegenation from the most diverse countries in the world. As a result of this cultural wealth, body size and features are also very diverse. Despite that, the appearance ideal in Brazil is very similar to the universal body ideal. Thinness, leanness and low body fat are valued by Brazilian young women. The ideal body has also white skin, straight hair and a thin nose, even though a large part of Brazilian population is mixed race or black. For many people, especially adolescent girls and young women, it causes dissatisfaction with specific body parts that are the result of the miscegenation, such as the curly hair, large nose and darker skin. But we also have some characteristics that can be a little different compared to other countries as the fact that Brazilians usually place a lot of value on body curves. We can also say that there is a recent concern among Brazilian women for being muscular. This drive for muscularity among young women has been an outcome in some research studies in Brazil, indicating that this body ideal could be changing. As in other countries, the body ideal is widely disseminated by the media, which takes many young women to pursue it through the adoption of disordered eating behaviors, as well as excessive physical activity and often de developing clinical and subclinical eating disorders. Uh, so, uh, after having given you a general framework about the Brazilian body and its implications, I would like to present some information about eating disorders in Brazil. Although we don't have population-based data on the prevalence of eating disorders in Brazil, there are several local studies that showed concerned levels of prevalence rates for bulimia and anorexia among adolescent girls and young women. Recent systematic reviews have indicated a prevalence of 1% to 4.2% for anorexia and 3.5 to 90.8% for bulimia among female university students. Besides that, we have some data that pointed out to the high prevalence of risk factors for eating disorders as body dissatisfaction and disordered eating. Given this, uh, Brazilian researchers and clinicians have dedicated to the development of prevention strategies in the past years. Uh, this interest is very recent compared to other countries that already have many prevention programs well established and with robust evidence of efficacy. Uh, this initiative is very important and should be a public health priority, especially because of the high cost of the treatment 
and also the fact that most individuals with eating disorders do not seek treatment. In Brazil, for example, we have only a few groups that are specialized in the treatment of these disorders. In this context, our paper describes the evaluation of a cognitive dissonance eating disorder prevention program uh, with a strong evidence-based the body project. This intervention is a selective prevention program. In other words, the participants should have one or more risk factors for eating disorders. Uh, the program aims to reduce pursuit of the Athena Prince ideal among young women. In this prevention program, participants are given an opportunity to collectively explore the cost of pursuing the thin ideal in verbal, written, and behavior exercise, which prompts them to reduce their subscription to this ideal. Uh, in our study, we included 162 young women who were recruited through the distribution of leaflets and were also personally invited to participate via in-class presentations. We included the young women who had body image concerns by asking them the question, do you have any concerns about your body image? This research was the first largest trial to investigate the effects of an eating disorder prevention program for young women in Brazil. And our results showed that the body project produced the significant result that support its efficacy among young women in Brazil. Uh, results of the intent to treat analysis showed a significantly greater change in body dissatisfaction, social cultural influences, disordered eating and eating disorder symptoms in body project condition versus assessment-only condition participants at post-test. Uh, moreover, a formal test of group differences in model uh, indicated that all of the significant group difference at post-test did maintain at the six-month follow-up, with the exception of eating disorder symptoms. Uh, also, our effect size were mostly small to medium, which is similar to other trials. It's important to mention that the results of this study suggested that the intervention created in one cultural context can be effective in different cultures, specifically Latin American young women in Brazil. We argue the characteristics of the intervention could explain the similar effects of the body project among different cultures, since this program is participant-driven and allows participants to argue against the beauty ideal promoted in their local cultures. This research accomplished its objectives when it investigated and the efficacy of a needing disorder prevention program in young Brazilian women and also provided data for future research since it offered consistent scientific support of this program for this population. It is hoped that implementation of effective prevention programs in countries around the world will help to reduce the population prevalence of eating disorders. We also hope that this will become a public health priority here in Brazil. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed the presentation and our work. Uh, here is my contact information. In case you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you so much for the attention. Bye.